Okay, so how did the, the Mimi and Nico sex tape come together? Well, as most of them do, not all, but most of them, we were contacted by a third party and they said, we have this tape, are you interested in taking a look at it? And we look at everything. I mean, there's nothing that we aren't interested in. Um, and we looked at the tape, the tape was great, and it was time to reach out and to Mimi and Nico and try and find them and see if they were interested in, uh, in letting us distribute it. And ultimately that's what happened. Now, when you look at this tape, it was obviously professionally shot. You know, this, this, I mean, it looks like I, I was almost expecting you to say that, you know, you guys shot it for them, but, but this is not the case. No, no, <laughs> not the case. And I did see the tape. It did not look professionally shot to me. No? Okay. I mean, we shoot movies, <laughs> and the production value of that tape is nowhere near the, the level of the movies that we shoot. So, I don't know. I mean, Okay, well, maybe just that, the trailer really, made it look like it was professionally shot. Yeah, somewhere. well, okay. that is what we're good at, is putting together trailers. So. Okay. So, you were approached by a third party. Mm-hmm. Um, representing uh, Mimi and Nico. You watched the tape. No, 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 no. Repre we were approached by a third party who had somehow come into possession of the tape. Oh. Wanted us to take a look at it. We thought it was interesting. I still wasn't that familiar with Mimi and Nico. I mean, of course, I had heard of the show Love and Hip Hop in Atlanta, but I had no idea just how big that show actually was. But okay, so we did our research and I was like, wow, I mean, this is, you know, one of VH1's best shows. We need to reach out to these people and see if they're interested. So that's when we, you know, jumped into action and, and began uh, hunting them down. Okay, so when you actually contacted Mimi and Nico, uh, who, did you contact both of them at the same time or was it one or the other? Well, there was uh, a person, a third person, that we spoke to who ultimately was able to uh, get us in, in touch with both of them. Okay, and what was that initial conversation like? Uncomfortable, as they often are, <laughs> you know? I mean, um, I mean, the fact of the matter is that in most cases that if they're not distributed legally and professionally by a good company, someone like Vivid, then they sort of find their way out to the internet anyways. Mm -hmm. And I think that they were aware of that. And again, that doesn't happen 100% of the time, but you know, that's sort of you know, what you have to look at, what they had to look at when they ultimately were making a decision. So I do think that Mimi in particular was uncomfortable. Yeah. Um, Nico, yeah, but I mean, Guys are a little bit easier to work with, quite frankly. <laughs> right. But uh, Mimi was not really down with it. I mean, was there a certain degree of this is never coming out, and I'll sue you if this, you ever try to put it out? C kind no. Of, kind of talk. No, there really wasn't because if they said don't put it out, we, we wouldn't have done it. So the conversation I mean, would be over. At that yeah, point. I mean, we don't work like that. Yeah. Um, there's lots of drama that goes in. To, to these tapes in terms of getting people to ultimately be okay with it, but, but when it's all said and done, you know, everybody has to be on board. Okay, so um, the tape got out without them knowing. Well, it was brought to you without their initial consent. Yes, from what I understand. From what you understand. You came to them and you guys struck a deal. Correct. Um, there's been rumors floating around that she got about 100k, 115k. Can you confirm or deny that it's in the ballpark of that? Yeah, we don't we don't we don't talk about the deals that we make. Okay. Uh, each one of our deals are confidential, and there's all sorts of documents signed and NDAs, <laughs> and and we don't do that. Okay. But, but suffice to say, it was enough to get the deal done.